Hello, Hello. Every, every single, single Jobin, Jobin out there. <laughs> How are we doing? We're it's uh, Thursday, February 7th, about 1.30 p.m., episode 27. 2019. I'm doing good. I had a good weekend. I had a good week so far. What about you, Sean? Um, it's been good. Uh, I'm trying to think. I haven't been doing too much. Just kind of chilling and training and Fortnite and pretty much, man. You've been smoking every night? No. Took a rip last night. Picked up Nick, or as you guys know him on the Twitch fam, Warlike. Picked him up. He came down from Canada. He's one of my subscribers on Twitch. Um, we've been playing Fortnite for all, probably about a year now, getting close to a year. Um, flew him down. We're going to fight tomorrow. Oof, that's going to be intense. We're going to have a good scrap tomorrow. He was making fun of my takedown defense, so... And he thinks he can hit me. So we're going to publish it online for everyone to see? We're going to make a vlog. We'll make a sweet little vid. Um, we're like, just come and find this camera real quick just say so we can put up. a picture to the to the thing. So we're going to do and that. Get fucking flex. This is who's going to be oh fucking sugar up tomorrow. Shit. <gasps> <laughs> okay. So we're fighting tomorrow. Um, it'll be fun. What about you? What did you do this weekend, you fuck? Um, this weekend didn't do anything too crazy. Just kind of laid low, chillaxed. Went to those three restaurants in a can, row. I was about to say, can we tell the fam how we celebrated your KO victory? I knocked that fucker out, but... He might have pulled I out. I went to pho, ate some pho. I was like, what the fuck? That just I'm got my satisfied. taste buds rolling. Easy. Went next door to the uh, barbecue place, got a barbecue beef brisket that sandwich. That ain't enough for you, dude. I was like, what the fuck? Am I a little ass bantamweight or am oh, I a welter? <laughs> So I went next exactly. door and got a fucking fat taco. Exactly. UFC 234 this weekend. Um, I, I always forget the, the, the card in Brazil happened last week too. Marlon Moraes submitted for, uh, Rafael Sunset on the first he round. He submitted him? First round. That's crazy. Three minutes in the first round. What are you Sweet. choking with? I, I watched know. it. I thought he knocked him out. Sweet to see Jose Aldo win. KO. I bet that. He looks gnarly. Did you see him jump over like Khabib yeah, did and fuck going? Badass. Dude, Jose is the man. Damian Maya, rear naked, two minutes, Charles 30 Levere. seconds. Charles Oliveira, submission, Oliveria. round two. Oh, fuck. What, Pretty what? good card for the Brazilians. How did Marlon submit him? What was it? Did it say? I don't remember. I didn't watch I it. I thought he knocked him out with that right hand. Hit him with, boom, hit him with two right hands. Robert Whitaker, Kelvin Gastelum, who you have? I'm going to say Whitaker. I'm going to say Whitaker, too. Israel Adesanya, Anderson Silva. Also, I'm going to say Israel. I think he's just going to be too much. I'm going to go with the old dog, Anderson. You you but, want him to? Or you th- who do you think's going to win that fuck. fight? It's hard to bet against Israel. Fifteen and zero. Yeah, and it's gonna be a kickboxing fight. Like if I had to pick who's gonna win, it's Israel. Ronnie Yeha, Ricky Simon, good fight. Preliminary card. Nothing crazy that sticks out. Um, the undercard Lando Bonato's fighting. The undercard kind of sucks. Damn, for, he's fighting a guy, a kid who's six and four. What the fuck? A lightweight with six and four. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, okay, one thing I want to talk about this podcast is your worst pet peeves. What are your worst fucking pet peeves? No, one that comes to mind. And I think, I don't know, this isn't just Danny, because we were having this conversation. I think it's women in general. I think it's humans in general, but fuck. If I wanted to l- deliver a clean body shot, right hand to the chin, it's during this time. What is it then? I'm getting it. I'm getting to it. Okay. So if you don't interrupt, I would have got to it already without having to just explain to you I'm getting to it. Okay. Okay. When I'm talking, I'm telling her. And then she just literally pretends I'm not even talking and will start up her. And I just smile. It's like, uh, and she goes, ah, she knows she did it because I just smile at her. I'm like, no, it's fine. Don't worry about what I have to say. It drives me nuts. Does Mariah ever do that to you? See, I don't, we both, we've both been like, I need to listen to her and what she's saying and she listens to me. But before, for sure, I'd be, she'd be going off about her horses and stuff and I'm sitting there, my mind's wandering about shit that I care about. <laughs> like, but we're trying to be conscious of it. So, I'm not bad. But my worst pet peeve is probably bad breath. Yeah. It makes me want to fucking puke, dude. Bad breath. Mm, what's another just pet peeve? Probably when you scream on Fortnite. When I'm trying to just relax, oh. trying to, so, I'm just trying to think because I'm not as good as you. I don't get, I'm like, I'm trying to think about my buttons and you're yelling with a loud squeal. Dude, okay, you'll be standing in the 
doorway talking to Mariah, and I'll be trying to get through the doorway getting shot at. I'm like, move, move. He's like, don't panic. Just be calm. I'm like, dude, no. you don't. You don't listen. So you think yelling you is better? Orange. Wait, why are you eating an orange? Vitamin C. No one eats oranges. Yeah, they do. I've never seen someone eat an orange. Sorry, you live in Phoenix. These are these grow on the trees right down the road. More like. Did you steal it? No. But so you're saying you're saying being loud, getting mad is better than being calm. Say, Tim, you need to fix this. Because literally saying that, you would just be. T- I was playing last night with you, and you were literally talking to Mariah 90% of the time. It was like I wasn't playing with you. And Mariah was on her period. What? Mariah was on her period. Co- what? Super cool. fucking emotional. I'm, okay. She well, gets all from get all day. Get off Fortnite and go and deal with that shit. Yeah, you know Me how and that Trevor is. don't want to play with you when you're talking to Mariah. What? We're like, what when we're playing, we're focused. Home. is dude well but she okay. knows she knows she she got kind of upset but then she went away and she's like oh no i know i'm just on my period i'm emotional and like i come home haven't seen you all day and you're on your game because usually you talk to me when you're on your game but i was like no i gotta play i got i only play I for get, it's not work for you i'm working i'm working i'm yeah. focused i'm trying to catch dubs i'm not letting danny knows i'm working she'll come give me a kiss and and i'll talk to her in between games i'm not chit-chatting in between mm-hmm. during games but that's why you suck. I'm one of the best all time to ever play. I just started. I just joked. I definitely suck. No, yeah, you, you're definitely. You got decent aim. You can aim pretty well. You just can't build. But the thing about it is, you don't want to get better. I do. You don't play for an hour a day. Usually, that's like three, four games. Depends on how many times you die. That's not wanting to get better. You just but accept when I, w- being bad at it, which is fine too. No, I'm trying to get better. But when I build, I die. When I text you, when I tell you, hey, let's get on a little bit early so we can practice building, and you say, nope, 420. That, I'm resting. Okay, that's fair. Um, One thing, too, like, would be a good thing. Like, girls on their period, dude, Ooh. they're a fucking different, a different person. Different like, species. Holy shit. That's what I was saying. On our compound, like... We need to have a little a little mini house where that's just packed with chocolate and love stories where the girls go for that week on their period and they can go and just watch their shows and ball and just feel <laughs> sorry for themselves and and then after that week they can come out and come back to the normal house. I, yeah, I mean, that's, you think that's a good idea? That's something that needs to happen. And they're like, I want you, but I don't want you. Like, oh it's my like, god, it's like, you're crazy. Yeah, it's weird. Danny and Mariah are super conscious about it now, and I think listening to Eckert and just being aware and consciously aware of their bodies, they're more aware of it, and even still can't oh, control man, it. Dude, you just don't understand. I'm like, I, I wish don't. I could understand. Yeah. I, w- I wish I could have a period for a little bit. But uh, but Danny and I get we get along way better because I know when she's on her period. I'm like, okay, I know. And it still I pisses need be, me off, I but I still be get better. Reminded too. I need to be like, okay, you're on your period. I remind you're Danny. acting crazy. I tell Danny, like, Danny, is your period? She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's fucking, dude, it's a weird it's thing. Fucking, um, yeah, I was talking to you the other day about what Joe Rogan said about how kids just don't want to fucking listen to you. So you have to find, like, having ways to sneak information to your kids. That's good. And I think that's that's something that we'll be pretty good at once we end up having kids is sneaking information to it to them right because you kind of have to do that as a coach anyway yeah sneak information to them in a certain way see how they take it but i don't know that'll be fun trying to do that with a kid i'm pumped i'm super jacked to have a kid someday when like you when you yell at sweet. me on Fortnite, i picture you your little guy playing some basketball Dude, you're and you yelling at him eight i can yell at you if you're not paying attention little dude mm-hmm. will be six not when i'm panicked dude not when I'm panicked and there's a guy right around the corner. And I say, get online so we can practice building so you don't can't panic. So you're not taking my information in. Dude, maybe you need to sneak the information in. Big like, dude, okay, if you get on right now, I guarantee something crazy is going to happen. And I'll be like, oh, hmm. maybe I will. <laughs> then it's, it's like, you don't want to get on earlier. You want to play for an hour and that's it. And in that hour... You can't learn how to build because we're jumping. We're just playing. Mm-hmm. You got to go to playground, like I told you, and learn how to build. And you don't want it, so that's fine. Maybe this weekend I'll play a little more. I don't. I'm good. But scream at me. Maybe I'll play more. Jesus Christ. Same. Kid. You know what fucking pisses me off bad? That you're wearing the same color pants as me? 
Mine are darker, a little more fancy. Yeah, Mine yours, are Versace, dude. Dude, yours are fucking not. I don't even know what these Actually, are. Actually, they're $7. They're $7 at H&M. These are Zara. People pants. always ask, too, like, what would you guys say your style is and where would you get your shit? Like, dude, you could look fly as fuck going to H&M, spend about 25 bucks, huh? They H&M has, like, big-name designers they do cl- uh, collateral or collaborations with. And you can get, yeah, nice, get nice ass shit at H&M. Fucking A's, dude. Dude, For I seven got, bones. Yeah, you can get some sweet shit at H&M. Thrift shops, yeah. fucking anywhere. You probably go to Walmart and look fly. Yeah. Dude, no, what I was going to say, though, is getting the fucking, those college bills in the mail makes me want to pull my fucking hair out, dude. I'm, never I'm 17 years old. I'm like, okay, I got to go to college. I got to go to college to be successful. That's stuck in my head. Right. Both my parents dropped out of school in eighth grade. So they have no clue about school, loans, nothing. So I, I'm like, okay, I signed up. I'm going to University of Montana. Do they, do they teach? Do they in high school like say you tell you you need to sign up, or do they, you get something in the mail, or what? How do you even know? They to bring sign you to up? a class and say, what do you want to do? Oh, so okay. I'm like, I want to do. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. I'm like just pick. So I went to the University of Montana, like, and then I get a call from the people. Hey, your um your bill is due for the dorms. I'm like, what? My bill's due. So I, I call my dad. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm, so I called Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo's up. yep, we got student loan programs. No problem. I'm 17 years old. Fuck. I'm like, okay. So I go sign for whatever, $5,000. And and then I go to the student loan place, 17 years old. And they're like, yep, just sign right here how much you want. I'm like, I can just get this much sent to me. I'm going to get a degree from college, so I'm just going to pay it off. Check thinking. mark the highest boxes. And like, okay. And I'm like, I don't know what to, I I don't know what I want to do for college. They're like, well, just do your generals. That's naturally what everyone does. Um, I look at my generals. Like, you can do ping pong. You can do strength and conditioning. You can do a uh, drama class. I'm like, hell yeah, ping pong. I signed up for ping pong. Signed up for the strength and conditioning. Did the drama class. Jesus. Still paying for it to this day. Well, at least you got out of it. You beat me in ping pong. Holy. Dude, that's crazy. It's so, like, fucking bullshit. They There's so much pressure on it. How do they know your ad? What? Your social security number, probably? Oh, yeah. Like, give it all to them. But dude, se- it's a fucking trap, dude. Weeks. They're letting a 17-year-old kid sign off. Yep, I can get these loans out. Yep, I can get these loans out. Yep, I can get these loans out. Having yeah. no guidance at all. And they they know what they're fucking doing. Totally. That sucks. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's, I knew it's I wasn't going to go to college in, like, third grade. I remember being like, there's no way I'm going, like, more school than I have. Really? Oh, yeah. God, I wish I would have known that. So bad, dude. But as soon as I got that fight in Washington and made a 1000 bucks, I was like, fuck this piece, dude. Yeah, fuck. Um, but when those fucking student loan checks came, I was balling, baby. <laughs> Head straight to the fucking sp- store, buying pizza for the boys, <laughs> fucking taking chicks on dates. Like Because it was like, just cash? Fucking send a check straight to your uh, mailbox. What? That's nuts. Yeah. I wonder. So my little brother's probably got a bunch of student loans. Yeah, it's hard to say unless he's got scholarships. scholarships. But it's so normal to be getting out those student loans because you're surrounded by kids that are getting out student loans. A lot of kids like their parents pay for it, but most kids are getting out student loans. You're like, oh, it's normal. Percent of people, yeah. Just keep getting out loans. Just keep getting out loans. Like I have friends that are, like either cops or teachers making 30 grand a year that are and they still owe 90 150 k in debt dude or more it's like holy shit it's fucking bullshit that is nuts is what it is that's nutty um should we hit some fan questions we got quite a few yeah let's hit them up i also want to see who i'm curious to see who you'd like khabib to fight next who would you like who would you do tony fergie yeah Tony fucking Ferg. A's. Wouldn't yeah. that be sweet? That would be a good fight. Because you'd, you'd think, like, Khabib's not going to be able to hold Tony down the way he's been able to. Or get him down, hold like hold him down like he's been able to do to every fucking else. What about you? Yeah, probably Tony. I think I think Connor, he kind of think that fight stays the same 10 out of 10 yeah. times. I don't think Connor catches him. What about GSP? I've We've never, I've that. never cared for a GSP fight. Yeah. And I know it's These probably because they're super boring. I've never ever cared. I'm the, I'm actually kind of excited for Ben Ashkin to fight just because I've never. It's it's his first UFC fight, yeah. and he's fighting Robbie Lawler, but he's fucking boring as shit too. Yeah, I'm pumped to see it. Did you see he, his outfit on media day or uh, on the his sandals? That was fucking sick. He looked like a forty year old fucking social studies teacher. <laughs> At Mason the Majestic, healthiest fast food options. 
Um, fast food, probably in and out. Quality you can taste, as Tim would say. Well, in and out protein style without the big fat white bun. Yeah. Maybe a Chipotle. Just, I think Chipotle is just so bad because of what they cook it in. Yeah. The, the oils. But it's still it's just like you get Black beans, beans rice, chicken, yeah. rice. It, it's nice in Phoenix. We can go to a lot of places that are Chronic healthy. Talks. They grass fed beef and it's pretty fast. Pita Jungle, Chronic Tacos. Like in but a Pita big Jungle's city. Not fast food. Pita Jungle, oh, yeah. sit down, wait. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so probably In N Out. Um, someone was saying Smash Burger has egg white buns and you can get a burger with egg bun or whatever at underscore mighty if it smells do you still eat it fuck no depends what we're talking about that fucking kombucha smells and i'm sipping it down remember that thing i showed you this morning that fucking whoo Dude. i had him smell the, i had him take a little shot of that turmeric uh-huh was it potent i drink that shit now dude i like in high school, hooked up with this chick, and like she must have came tr- straight from volleyball practice, <laughs> and I was fucking horned up, dude, horned up to the max. I'm like, dude, I'm in gonna high eat, school, I'm gonna eat that puss, dude, like shrimp fried rice. I've done, but dude, that. I went down, like kind of moved down by her belly button, fingered her a little bit. <laughs> oh, dude, and it smelled like like bo piss and fish. Making. Like what? I don't know, I don't know. It's hard to say, Ask and me. like I. I I, I walked to the store after. I don't know why the fuck I was walking to the store. Grab Probably snacks. grab a snack. <laughs> my hands smelled, dude. Like, I washed my hands. Still smelled. I was like, fuck, dude. If I had put my fucking mouth near that. <laughs> you I probably, probably would have puked. Or gagged. <laughs> or like maybe flicked the bean a little bit with my <laughs> finger. Pretended my tongue <laughs> moved back up. But fuck. Yeah, shit. At Josh Remd. Would you ra- God, these f- you guys are fucked up. Would you rather have a good hand job from your grandma or a bad hand job this, from your grandma? That, this is what you know this they kid? asked Brendan Schaub this. No, they asked him that question. Yeah, we shouldn't even have to answer that then. Well, what would you say? <laughs> he answered grandma. It. Your grandma. I have to. Bad or good? Like she's gonna give you a hand job. Would you rather oh feel good or not that great? good <laughs> if i have to bitch and then so later on like that day you're like god that felt good like, god, thank you for up. that grammy or would you rather but brent shop is like bad because then like later i'm not gonna be thinking like that was felt good oh, but that's you true no bad 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 bad, bad, bad. whatever dude my grandma's dead dude i've had a hand job from your dead grandma oh my god I swear to jehovah <laughs> You're one fucked up kid. Uh, At Aiden Pierce Fitness. Another fucked up one. If your mom and girlfriend switched bodies, oh, who would you bang oh. to switch them back? <laughs> <laughs> Answer. Uh, <laughs> Answer. Um, so Danny and my mom switched Switch bodies. bodies. So Danny's in your mom's body. My mom's and Danny's yeah, body. Yeah, and you got to smash one to get him back. <laughs> Answer, bitch. I would get blacked out and fuck <laughs> my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you would, too. Fucked. You are oh. fucked, dude. You guys are fucked up. At Diego Ramirez, Kane or Francis? That's a good question. Fuck, dude. Up. Some Francis hit so hard. Kane's been off for two years. But like I said, Kane's a better wrestler than Stipe. If Kane starts taking him down. I'm going to say Francis, boom, knockout. Obviously, him. Francis is going to be working on his wrestling. But you can't just work on your wrestling for six months and catch up to Kane Velasquez. True. So you got Francis. I got Kane. Five rounders. Yeah. Oh, no, it's more than two years off, right? I think well, it's been like three years off. Yeah, and then before that was a year. Before that was two years. Like just like fucking tits, dude. At El Toro five twenty, if the UFC did a tag team fight and you needed two more people, who would it be? Grab some twenty fivers. <laughs> I would replace myself and wouldn't want to be in that. No, you're in it. <sighs> you got two more boys to back you up. I'm going John Jones. I'm going Stepe. Steve is a good one. I'll go DC because he'll fuck John Jones up. 
Shit. Both I'll my have boys DC. I'll send DC on Stipe. He got lucky. And then I'll take fucking Derek Lewis. <laughs> He'll smash whoever. Dude. Big D. Bar fight, dude. At Old Deej, which is the worst part of fight camp? I enjoy fight. I miss. What's the worst part? Fight camp. Probably after like the third or fourth week, your body being just beat down, knowing you got to do it again, knowing you got to do it again. But then what really pissed me off is having to smoke weed. But then I stopped smoking weed and I felt fucking so good. I was sleeping so good not smoking weed. Yeah, I've been, I, that, that won't even bother me. I'm going to straight up take probably two months off. After, when, I, when I have a fight, I'll take eight weeks out. I don't know, dude. I miss fight camp so bad, and I want to be in fight camp so bad. I don't give a fuck. Probably just being super sore, huh? Just yeah. sore, sore as fuck just every no, day. Just kind of con- contemplating whether I should take this day off, take this practice yeah. off, rest. Yeah, that's hard. I'm talking to Dr. Andy on Friday. That'll be sweet. At Ray Vans. The runner that choked out the mountain lion. Talk about it. That was where he's by where he's from. Really? I wonder how I wonder how big that mountain lion Supposedly was. Supposedly that mountain lion bit that dude's face. It snuck up on him and jumped on him? And bit his face? Yeah, it bit his face. And he turned around? And that fucker hooked it? Yeah. It was like serious injuries too. Like they had to take him to the hospital. Like not life threatening, but serious. After. How do they know he choked him out? I can choke him out. I don't know. Did he get so he, he laid there die? And the lot, mountain lions just passed out still. Huh. Did they take some vi- is there video evidence? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'd like to like lion. read the article about it. But yeah, well what are, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Some uh, something the my size attacks me, I'm not gonna just ball up. Well you gotta fight. It's life or death. It's fight you or gotta fight. You gotta fight, yeah. Man, I bet that fucker's jacked and now he's got that story forever. <laughs> Fucked up a mountain lion. That's pretty Who cool. knows? This fucker could have set it up. I haven't seen the pics. Have you? At Zark Pointo, will you guys ever make Zach? That's your that's your son. Oh yeah, I was I was doing my son. (laughs) Will you guys ever make Timbo Sugar Show merch? Didn't you message somebody for sure? Yeah, right now we're about to. We're about to make some sweet ass shirts for all our Jobins. Yeah, you. Every single Jobin out there is going to get a shirt. It's true. And then we're getting uh, pipes. Pipes. Pipes were supposed to be done this week, so hopefully next week they'll done. They'll and done. everyone who has pipes, hundred percent our boy, one hundred percent our boy, dude, hundred percent our boy. At <laughs> Geo Lightwork, any other form of professional entertainment you're interested in pursuing? Your tickle, your dude, tickle show. I want to be on the ticklemaster.com. You should tell them about that. This guy hit me up. I was like fucking seventeen or some shit. No, or eight. No, I was, no, I was. You're was still in, pro, I think. You were three and zero. Oh, I get. I was. I was at the apartment. Yeah. I don't know. I was early on my pro career. This guy hit me up from a YouTube or no, he hit me up on some social media and sent me a link to his YouTube. And it was like, he would tie down athletes. It wouldn't be him. Nec- it would have. He would have someone tie down athletes, and they'd tickle them until they couldn't. Just like for like thirty minutes, just giggling? tickle them. And there's like, ah, ah. I, it was weird as fuck. And I would screenshot the message and send it to the boys, our group yeah, chat. Yeah. And I'd just keep going on with it, like, well, how about ten thousand? Just trying to just so I could screenshot. And he was and send saying, it to you guys. he was saying he'll give you some good chatter. Right? It was fucking funny. I'm like, but but that was the weirdest thing ever. But I think it's on YouTube. It's like a tickle. It's like a whole page of it's tickling a- people, athletes. Just weird fetish. But Imagine if you were strapped for cash and you were you did it. I'd regret that more than anything in life. <laughs> like, what like Dakota Cochran, the MMA fighter, 155. He said he was super broke, coming out of college, I think, and they offered him 80 grand to do a gay porno, and his ass did it, and that <laughs> fucked him. I couldn't do gay porn. <sighs> Not gay. No. Nothing against gays. No, not at all. Not at all. It's just and then you you got to deal with that. Everyone looks at you and they they picture that. Oh, what was the question? Remember, you wanted to do porn for with chicks. Well, I'd say, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that would be sweet. Well, yeah. Well, then, yeah. The question was any other. But form would it be of- that sweet? Because think about it. You're like not horny, but you have to go to work today. I got to fuck this chick. I fucked the same chick yesterday, or I fucked different. 
and you have to go it, fuck. Yeah, eventually it turned I into, would a, hate it to turn do into a job. I don't want to do. It would like, definitely turn into a job. That, so that would suck. And it says any other form of professional oh, entertainment. I want to get on Dancing with the Stars someday. Well, you're in your movie coming up. Remember? I'd like to be in a movie. Yeah. Um, I'd like to do a lot of shit. I'm a rapper, too. It's got face tats for. <laughs> <laughs> At Gambino Bend. What do you feel is your guy's purpose? I don't know, man. You don't think you got I one? I want to fucking help people someday. Yeah. Right now I need to I think that them. and then we got it. we have a good platform to do it. Look already. Look already how many messages you get. Oh man, I'm starting to eat help, yeah. healthy or I'm starting jujitsu already and I know that helps out people. But for sure that that feels the best and that's Nothing's going to be more fulfilling than like sh- truly helping people, yeah. turning their lives around or putting them on a different path. Right. So, I think for, that for both like, of us, that's going to yeah. pretty much be our purpose, I feel like. At Devin Riggs, favorite kind of coffee? Oh, yeah, no, back to that other one. Did you see Alan, uh, Taquino's black belt? He's starting oh, that jiu jitsu that program. That's fucking sweet. For He's the starting a program. Needs. Yeah, he used to do it in Brazil, I guess. That was fucking cool. That's badass, huh? That That'd is. be fun for us to go help with that one Totally. Day. I would love to do that shit. I would love that. What do... F- or favorite kind of coffee at Devin Riggs? I like the Laird Superfood. The Superfood creamers. They have chocolate mint. I like their coffee. I like their shit. Laird Superfood. Uh, yeah, I don't really have like a specific one I like more than the others. That UK company sends me coffee, so it's the kind of coffee I drink, and I like it. Yeah. UK coffee. At Richard Baker 100. Marry one, fuck one, kill one. Paige Van Zandt, Rachel, Kate Upton. <sighs> Rachel Ostovich, Kate Upton. I don't want to kill any of them. I don't either, but sorry, Paige. Yeah, bye, Paige. And she's nice, but... But I would... Oh. Kate Upton's big tits. God, would you fuck her or marry her? Because the question always is, is it a fuckless marriage? Do you fuck when you're married? Because if really, then you could be fucking I'd both. probably, uh... Mary Kate. Rachel. Oh, she drives me nuts. At D Merks. One one meal for the rest of your life. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do you have one meal for the rest of your life? What is it? Damn. That's a fucked up question. It is, but think about it. What do you pick? One meal? Everything you're gonna be so sick of come that fucking Any- third day. Dude, like, what do you I'd do? You pick acai like bowls? Do you pick eggs, and turkey bacon, and avocado? You know, I'm sick of egg. Yeah, that that Dude, would probably that, good tacos. We've ha- that's like the thing we've had most of in our life. I feel like or the last five yeah, years, every single day, probably tacos for me, or that what meal you you said. At Astral Wiz four four eight. Would you recommend a beginner start by taking MMA classes or strictly BJJ? That's a good question. I'd say both. You got to do regular jiu-jitsu and regular MMA. You yeah. Just start both. It depends what you're trying to accomplish. I think I think jiu-jitsu. Like, because then you're going to learn to get tired. You're going to learn. You, got, you have to learn the ground in MMA. Like, that's, if you don't have a ground game in MMA, you're going to be fucked. Um. And MMA, it's like there's not many MMA classes around. There is at the lab. Right. Like totally. MMA, I don't know. It's like a weird thing to teach because there's so much. So I'd say jujitsu first. One thing that like – because people – and it's a scary thing if you've never done like physical sports starting jujitsu. Especially they see jujitsu, people rolling around. They're like, what the fuck? I got to be like touching another human and like what the hell would I do on the ground? But literally if you have a good instructor, they'll start you from the ground up. And ease you into it, kind of talk to you about it, get you familiar with it. Nick started jujitsu, what, six classes in or something? Yeah, three weeks, yeah. Three Were you weeks nervous? Ago. <laughs> yeah, everyone at the gym's super nice, though. Everyone's yeah. there for, like, the same goal to get better. So yeah. Like, so we'll fuck, see yeah. if he One slaps thing on us a mish. Oh, fuck. One th- I, this thing it said in my artist's journal, it said people that, that say, I'm too old, or I'm too old to do that. I'm too old is something we tell ourselves to save ourselves from the emotional cost of the ego deflation involved in being a beginner. Totally. It's fear. I'm too old. Yep. I'm No, I'm too old for that shit. It's like, it's like no, you're not. You're not, bitch. You're scared, which is okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So definitely jujitsu for that one. At KVPA17, is Sugar going to fight the Russian who called him out? I've been called out by two Russians. Who was the second? Said. His name's Said. S A I D. Said? No, Said. Said Nurmagomedov. I've been called out by the kid that he beat, both the Russians, Brian Keller, Andre called me out. I've been called out by half the roster. And I'm not even healthy. Man, I'm technically suspended still. So I don't have, I'm just trying to get healthy. Then I'll bust up all those dudes soon. Yeah. They'll all get it. So eventually, it's just like, fuck, I'm trying to be healthy. Yeah, for sure. At John underscore Gallagher, when does THC reach the point where the negatives outweigh the positives? Dude, I think a lot of people, I read something the other day. It was like this kid who hadn't smoked. He was he was like super outgoing, always like life at the party was super fun. Went to college and started smoking weed, and all he did was smoke weed and just didn't go out anymore. Started becoming insecure, uncomfortable, and and it kind of not ruined his life. But a lot of that's his own self discipline, knowing when to. But if you don't know that, if you can't control that, weed's so easy to just I'm just gonna smoke and not do anything. So I think fucking. I think it's bad for a lot of people that don't know how to control themselves, self discipline. Yeah, I've been not smoking. I've been not smoking like hardly at all the last three weeks because I've been trying to mess with my sleep, and I've been doing just THC, just CBD, mixing it. And the best sleep I get, high CBD, very very low THC or no THC. Yeah. Um, and just like we've said before, like our favorite time smoking weed is after we just worked our asses off yeah. or we fucking earned it. Like, God damn, we earned it. Let's smoke and chill out. But if you wake up, haven't done shit, haven't like tried to work towards any goal, no matter what your goal is, you haven't tried to work towards it. You wake up, you're like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to smoke and just sit there. Like, I think that's when it becomes bad. And there's different like stages when you take a fat rip. And for a little while, you're like, ah, giggly, like, ah. And then when you start coming down, you're like, think about shit. You're like, whoa. Like, I don't know. That's how I feel sometimes. If I don't, if I don't feel like I am did a, did enough during the day or I'm calm, like, I don't know. I just yeah. feel like it can definitely fuck you up. Yeah. Well, I think just like we said in the past, like, earn that fucking weed. Earn it. Go do something and then earn that shit. Don't take advantage of weed. Yeah, don't just be a fucking pothead. Smoke. I don't have anything else to do. I'm just going to smoke, gel out. Next day, I'm going to smoke, gel out. Anthony MTB. Do hot chicks from high school ever hit you up because you're a fighter? Sometimes. Mm. Occasionally. I've been hit up on like Snapchat or Instagram. But in the, not, like, in the past often. a little bit. In the past a little, like, a little bit. It's Nothing, so like, weird. Girls I would think was so hot back in high school. Looking back, I'm like, they weren't. It's just, dude, in yeah. high school, we didn't, in Montana, there's not that many people compared to like Phoenix. It's yeah, fucking way different. insane. It's crazy. Like, you see chicks in high school that weren't hot at all that are super hot now, or chicks yeah, that were really hot versa. are just fucking piggies now. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it is. At not really underscore Luca. What percent of your time spent doing BJJ? Do you spend on sport techniques like barambolos, worm guard, etc.? A I little th- bit of time. I don't know. Like I think a, the shit we do is pretty much perfect. Yeah. We do jiu-jitsu all week. We do jiu-jitsu every single day. So when Tiquinho and those guys are showing that stuff or doing stuff to me, I ask them questions and learn about it because if you want to, like, I don't know, I guess be relevant in jiu-jitsu, you got to learn all that new school type shit where you're just going to get smoked, I guess. At Jomo25, would you trade never rolling or fighting again to be completely financial, financially stable? Fuck no. Hell no. That's the, that's the shit that relieves all my stress. Like, Dude, say you're as rich as could possibly be right now. What the fuck would I do? Yeah, you'd be like, I'm going to jiu-jitsu later. Oh, wait, I can't because I'm fucking rich now. <laughs> yeah. I'm financially stable. Yeah, for sure. No, fuck, fuck that. that. At Sam is your friend. I keep getting injured from BJJ. Any tips on how to stay healthy? I would say eat. Just keep. There's always a way to eat better, and that's such a huge with like taking that turmeric for your joints and sup and all that. Just supplementing good and uh, 
having a good warm up before you roll is huge. I think. Yeah, a lot of gyms don't even really do no. warm ups. Yeah. I think yeah, I think the warm ups is good, but you got to remember, no matter what you do, you're gonna get injured. Always. Like the just little injuries happen all the time. I've been doing little tiny injuries for the last ten years, like trying to find ways to work around them, staying hydrated. Like Sean said, eating good, sleeping good. It's really all you can do. And and don't don't go in there like with such a huge ego. Like I'm not gonna fucking tap. If I get caught in something, you better you better hurt me because I just if you get caught in an arm bar, they don't don't even let them extend it. Just tap. It's like Takino was saying the other day. He's like. The better you get, you don't even have to really fight out of submissions because you don't even put yourself there. Like, don't even put yourself there. Like, training with Takino over the past years, I've gotten him maybe in three front headlocks. Just front headlocks. He never, ever even puts himself there. Uh, I so I think in training when you're going with people like, and you get caught, let's just tap. Just totally. tap and just reset it and just figure out why you got there instead of being like, oh, fucker, I could have got out of that or just being a douche. At Beer Wizards, what is your ideal way to die? Ideal way to die? I thought Are about this. Sleep? I thought about this. Maybe Me, not. after a good day of training, I'm going to probably eat. Or no, no. I'm going to have. I'm gonna fuck Mariah, get really high, eat, stuff my face, have a nice dessert, go lay on my bed. Shut me off. I'd like to experiment with some drugs. Maybe. Like, if we knew the world was going to end. If we knew the world was going to end, I'd get... I don't, would you get really, really high? I wouldn't. No, I would try. I don't know. Really, really high? You don't even really have to... You're just fucking out, dude. I don't know. That's fucked up. I was laying with Pete the other day, just thinking about him, like thinking about him dying. I'm like, God, that's going to fucking suck. Like, almost yeah, tearing up. for like, sure. Just smelling him like he has his own yeah. smell. Like that's Pete. That's my dude. And that's a, and like Beetle and Pete and stuff. Those will be our our first real dogs. It's weird when you buy a dog, you know that day is gonna come. Probably, oh, where they're gonna die and it's gonna be super. Dude, it makes my sad. stomach sick. Thinking Even about that. when we have kids later in life, we're like, oh, we're getting a puppy. Like a day's gonna come where that puppy breaks those kids' fucking heart because it died. Oh, that Mike Tyson podcast was fucking good. What he was said, he talking about? He said when he did the smoke to the frog, it's like a psychedelic, almost hallucinogen kind of deal. Mm-hmm. It like made him comfortable with death for the first time. Like that's Smoked what that. What? Like it was like a frog or a toad. The toads, remember? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of like what DMT. Everyone says like that makes them comfortable with death. Like it's okay. Like they know it's gonna happen or something. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely it kills wanna, your ego. I definitely want to do the a dmt trip I do too. like one in another country like a real a real like one brew yeah yeah but just like um mike tyson says we probably shouldn't do it too early because i feel like when we do it we're like god i don't really want to fight that's what i've i've said that since i've heard about dmt yeah like i've fuck, said i'm not gonna pro- do it until after fighting because i want to probably should be careful with it at paul vdg3 what is a thing you two really want to learn besides something fight related? I like learning about fucking health and nutrition. Yeah. I think, I think all the shit we're learning about right now, like keeping your relationships smooth mm-hmm. with your girlfriend, with your friends, even with your family, like communication, keeping all your relationships good. Like that makes you feel good. I'm super into sleeping right now and figuring out like, how to get more out of my deep sleep. Cause deep sleep's where you recover, and that's how I'm fucking trying to recover. Just superb. Oh, just how to eat perfectly. Or how, like, what to do where your brain functions the best possible yeah. way. Where, you're, where your brain just works really good. Can figure things out better. Not super cloudy. Um, like, being in control of your emotions. That's huge. Not letting your emotions take control of you. And I feel like we're learning all that right now. And not like little things, oh, get us pissed off or have fucking road rage or freak out over the littlest shit. Uh-huh. All that kind of shit I really like learning about. Yeah. Um, that's it for fan questions. Yeah. What, are, what time are we at? What do we say? 39. What do you think? I think that's perf. Perf. All right. Well. Um, yeah, like I said, pipes are coming soon. Shirts are coming soon. 
every time you guys fucking tag us on Instagram in your stories or in posts, it helps us out so much. Helps other people fucking find us and helps us grow. Yeah, definitely like and share. Tell your fucking moms about us. Maybe they'll hit us up on Snap. <laughs> give out your give out our Snap to your moms or any, chicks any that hot you, chicks. Yeah, exactly. That you, you know what I mean? We're trying to fucking figure out how to get a TV in here where we can interview guests. So then we can have guests all the time. Donald Trump would be our first. We talked to him. We could have Trump on. But sick. we're trying to figure that out. So if anyone has any info on trying to figure that out, we got our boy Jax. He could probably figure it out. <laughs> and or, we're fighting tomorrow. So stay stay tuned for that video coming out. on. That'll be on my YouTube channel. Warlike's knocking out Sean first we'll see, round tomorrow. We'll see, baby. We're seeing. We're going to have a little scrappy. So It's going to be nasty. Like, share. Share, like. Have a good one, every Jobin out there. Jobin.